Okay. I'm not even up yet. I'm still lying in bed. And someone sent me this kitten. And I have to get started and take care of this kitten again. I don't know if I've got the energy to do it. I'm going to do it. There's no other way. The sassy pants. Checking him out. And, uh, yeah. No. Yeah, that's one of those things. They said the mother didn't come back. But, I don't know. Maybe, maybe I should just take care of it. <laughs> well, it's a beautiful day outside. Tigers are walking around. And this morning, everything that happens is waking me up. But I guess I've got good reason. <laughs> well, got to get this little one fed. Let me get started. Yeah, and they're all awake now. Everyone is coming to see the new kitten. It is something that you can't avoid. Because... He or she is screaming at the top of her voice, or his voice, all the time. So, let me get this little one fed. Okay, so the little kitten drank milk from the bottle. Not cow's milk and things like that. Some formula. And, yeah, it's very happy right now. So... I think I've got my work cut out for me for the next few weeks. And, um, yeah, well, what can I do? <laughs> I have to just do it. I don't really, I wasn't planning to get more animals, but I guess this little animal was planning to get a human. And, uh, yeah, he's got one. <laughs> so, he's very happy at the moment. And let me try and get the sound from him. But I will be feeding him every few. No, well, I think it's going to be minutes. It's not going to even be hours. So I'll take care of it. Let me get around to doing that. Before you feed them, what I'm doing right now. Okay, little one is sleeping like a baby. Well, there's no fleas on him whatsoever. I'll just check him again. And I want to weigh the little one. And, uh, yeah, get this thing going. <laughs> I guess I am into it now. Because it's been a whole hour. And, uh, yeah, then you know you've got a kitten. <laughs> Yep, that's the pressure washer from my neighbor across the road. Then I know it is Sunday. And guess what I have here? A little one that needs to be fed. And I just got the right kitty milk. Here I've got it. Let me just do that. So I'll be quickly getting this little one fed again and I've got a little bottle here where he drinks from and yeah I'm not even I haven't been no, I have been downstairs already actually twice to be honest I get up many times during the night to, to be honest I don't really have a night I think I just got a complete day doing stuff <laughs> I just sleep in between doing things. So, yeah, but let me get this one fed up. Uh, he will definitely eat again now. And, uh, yeah, he's doing so well. Okay, and I've got the little kitten here. And all the dogs want to see this little kitten. But I'm not going to bring him too close to them. Because they want to see him. But they might just hurt him by accident. Arnie wants to see the kitten as well. Arnie, take the. Just gonna let him see like that. Not too close. 
He's old. All of these animals are so interested. Whenever we've got something like this, they just want to see what is going on. <laughs> Yeah, well, let me get going. Got a kitten to feed. Billy! Oh, that's MacGyver right there, eating some watermelon. MacGyver! Anna Duens is coming to see as well. Lily? Billy slept over last night and when he got up this morning he didn't know we we're gonna have a kitten tonight or today and there's little Chloe as well they're all coming to see but yeah let me get this little one this bottle again there it is ready to drink because he just woke up I like little Bella right here Bella Bella Bella. Bella. She was awake just now. There she is. <laughs> Still a bit sleepy. Yeah, she's going to go back to sleep. Well, let's get this little one a bottle. There it is. Just one little sip. That's enough for now. Duncan chased his little mouse and he just ended up right in the corner and I want to feed him just want to see if he's okay he looks okay he's trying to run inside there there's no way of him getting in there he's a little confused but I want to see if I can give him some milk if you can just taste that he'll understand exactly what is happening here Let's give him a second. Okay, here's another one. Friendiest cat in the world. Well, she hasn't exactly caught them. She's not really eating them. But two little mice. I'm going to have to put them in somewhere. Because they, they seem still a little... I don't know, they're not wild like the others. They're quite tame. And the friendliest cat in the world is just right here with them. This is strange. Well, let me get this little one in a box and to safety. Although I think this would have been the worst place for a mouse to be. And the friendliest cat in the world is really the friendliest cat in the world at the moment. Just listen to that. Well, these two little mice. Here's the one and there's the other one. I'm going to show you guys right there in the corner. But, I'm not going to push it with friendliest cat in the world. Well, let's see. <laughs> I guess I must just load them up into this little box. See what I can do after that. Well, here I've got them both in a box and they checked each other out and they know each other well. So I think the thing to do is to check if there's any more. Let me see. Well, I'm just following Frenia's cat in the world because she will probably know exactly where all the mice are. But she just went straight to the place where the other little one was. But I've already loaded him up. I've got them both safe in a box. And uh, yeah, what do you do then? Well, let me think about it for a while. Okay, so I just took a bread roll, wetting it up for the two little mice and took the milk that's left from the little kitten and put it in a little, well, bucket. I guess you can call that <laughs> for a mouse. They are not sure what happened 
but they do know that they are getting all kinds of treats already and they're not even here for 10 minutes so let's see how that goes and well this is what it looks like when you've got monkeys around you've got a lot of bottles that they drink from well i was just waiting for this dinosaur egg to hatch here and i was I've got this little bottle with milk ready for if the little dinosaur comes out and he's maybe hungry or thirsty. I don't know. I've never had a little dinosaur before. But then I got this little kitten. So I thought, well, instead of waiting for the dinosaur to come out, I'm going to rather just feed this to the kitten. And then it, it is kitten milk. And uh, I was looking everywhere for dinosaur milk, but I couldn't get any. But I'll just, I'll just give it kitten milk. I think that should be fine so I just came past here and I heard the little kitten and I looked inside here and I thought oh my gosh the dinosaur egg hatched and then I saw no either this is the type of dinosaur that can disguise himself as Duncan or this really is Duncan but I don't know the dinosaur egg is gone so this must be it Cake. Come and see this little kitten. She's not sure really what it is. But yeah, just fed her again. Him, sorry. And now needs to go back to sleep again. Gonna be feeding this little one probably every half an hour. Still worried about this dinosaur that just hatched. First time she's gonna eat this. Not sure what it's called in English. It's a spun pack in Afrikaans. I'll just get the name and write it right in here. She likes it. She's just jumping around. And little Chloe, she's inside. She's a little bigger than little Bella. So she's actually able to play with the bigger monkeys. But I can see little Bella is gonna be able to go in there pretty soon. She's just enjoying that. Okay, and the kitten is done. And just look at that. The mice drank all their milk. They did eat a little bit of the bread, but I see some... Oh, look at the mice. Look at the things running on top of them. Now that is why you have to be careful with mice. Because they carry parasites and things. So, yeah, i got to make a decision here, quick. Get rid of them, putting them back somewhere. Because they are definitely carrying something. Just look at those little things on them. So, yeah, always keep that in mind. Okay, so the little one, still drinking his milk. Every few minutes, just taking a small little sip. Not much at all. No. Closing up for my sassy pants. Not letting her in there. Let's see this. Diego, do you want to drink the bottle? Let's give him a little bit of milk there. Ah, oh, and he's got that. Ah, oh, can you believe it? So, Diego. Just put that on top there. Let me quickly go get the food. Diego! So, how do you get Diego to hand over the little kitten's bottle? Well, you give him chicken and you try and get him to move away from it. So, <laughs> I just had to run and quickly go get it. And now I've got an opportunity to just bend this open so I can get my hand in there and get this out. I can't reach it, but I'll do my best. There I got it. Okay, I saved it. Can you believe it? Because I only got the one. Enzo's still asleep over there. He's actually awake. I can see his face. And Diego in his favorite spot. And I'm off to quickly go and see if I can find something to treat the mice with. 
because I don't know, I think it's natural for them to have rice and things. Well, not in my book. So I want to go get something to treat them. And maybe where they go, they can, well, some of the treatment might rub off into whatever and make life a little better for everybody. So let me just go and do it. Okay, so little Miss Sissy and Sassy both just got some antibiotics. It's not something very special. It's just one that you buy over the counter here in South Africa. I know in certain countries it's not allowed to do it. But, well, this is for sale straight off the shelf. And I just gave it to them because they are still... They've got a little bit of a runny nose still. And I'm trying to get it sorted. And I don't want to take them into the vet right now because I know they do have a problem and um, that's where they got it in the first place so I don't think it is a good thing to take cats and dogs especially if it's going back to a shelter just into an area where they might get contaminated then you have to well sometimes it's better for the vet to just visit you and I'm just seeing something right there now. Let me just zoom in and see if I can show you guys. But there's a spider web running there. There it is. Just look at that. Can you believe it? That is probably a 10 meter spider web. Well, I'm just on my way out and I get distracted by all the cats. And they're all just sitting here sleeping and... Well, being happy as can be, just look at that. They are just right here. I'm just going to go get some globes because I've got some electrical, well, just your normal globes to make light with in the bathroom. That just stopped working. And I'm out. So I've got to go get some and I'll be back in a few minutes. But... Before I go, let's just quickly say hi to Enzo and Diego. He is the water is moving, so they were in there. Oh, there is Diego. You just see the big mouth that opens up as he wakes up and gives a good old yawn. Yep, he's feeling great. Stretching, getting up. Yeah, that's probably the only time the tigers are real slow. And that's when they wake up. But I don't have time to stand around here waiting for him to get up. I got to get going because I got to be back within the next half an hour to feed him. So, I'll be back in a second. That cat over there, I think that is her. She's been living across the road for many years and we've been feeding her for probably about seven years and then the people moved and then they moved back and then we continued feeding her. So yeah, <laughs> can you believe it? Okay, so Diego looks a little sorry again so why would he be sorry well i'm not gonna say much but i'm just gonna show you guys that over there diego was that you again <laughs> yeah and he's saying what am i gonna do about it he decided he wanted to take that corner straight off the pool and there's nothing nobody can do about it he'll do it because he can well Let's give him a chicken. Maybe he'll change his mind. Enzo key. Right, and Enzo's gonna get this one. Let's see him catch this one. Yep. Is he actually a little lazy today? So, his tigers keep on changing. Today, Enzo is behaving totally different than yesterday. And Diego is a little different than he was yesterday as well. But yeah. I guess I'm going to have to fix up that pool. 
I think I'm going to take out that place where the light goes. I don't think we need it. Don't need a light inside the pool. That's just, well, unnecessary stuff where Diego can easily get a grip on the pool. And the last time he pulled out huge chunks of the pool. And I had to redo the whole thing. But this time, uh -uh, just hit Enzo straight on the head. And well, at least he's a tiger. He can take it. I don't want to test if he can take it, but I know he can. But in any case, back to the pool. I will have to fix up that. And you keep on making changes to the pool. Because you keep on learning as you have them. And as they grow. And what they like and what they don't like. But I think what I don't like is a big hole in the pool. So, coming up, I'll be changing that light and just basically, well, removing it so we don't have it anymore. But, yeah. Well, guys, that's it. I'm going to be feeding them. They will be eating and uh, then... I'm done with the day, but this was a busy day, so yeah, if you've got tigers, one thing, keep one thing in mind, try and make less work for yourself than making more work, that is a very, very good thing to do when you keep pets like these, well, thanks for watching, and uh, like always, have a great day. Okay, so I've got a surprise for the dogs tomorrow morning. When they get up, there's going to be some water in the pool. And uh, then we'll see how they enjoy it. And all the cats are here joining me. They are all around. And even the tigers. There's Enzo and Diego. Oh, no, sorry. That is Diego and that is Enzo right there. But Mother Cat is right there. The cats are walking around here enjoying this place so much when the dogs are not here but the dogs are all upstairs sleeping and the water is running in they are going to have a surprise tomorrow morning when they get up so yeah, we'll see how that goes but at least the swimming pool is done i'm going to fill it up i'm going to leave the water in for about two or three months and then i'll decide on the color because at the moment the only problem is during the day if you look into the pool well, it's so bright that you can't see where you're walking when you walk in there. So that is a problem. And if it is too bright still, and it's not just something to get used to, then I will change the color of it. But for now, I think we'll get it perfectly clean and blue and right for swimming. And uh, yeah, we'll see the dogs have some fun. Well, got to go. Everybody is ready to go to bed. I'm just going to switch off a few lights and things here. Let's quickly say good night to the boys. Mother cat enjoying the cat food. Enzo key. <laughs> and Diego. Good night, Diego. <laughs> well, guys, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed that. And I'll see you in the morning. So I've just put the chlorine in the pool. And Enzo turns silly right there when he starts smelling it. Look at that face. He is <laughs> silly as can be. He loves that smell. He's all around. He's rubbing up against these poles. Look at that. He doesn't know what to do. He's going to just be silly. <laughs> and he's powerful. While being silly, you can just hear in his voice how strong he really is. Oh, now he's not going to sleep tonight. But the smell should be gone soon. It's just when you put down the chlorine, that little bit that gets into the air. He's just smelling that. <laughs> he loves it. Well, got to go. going to switch off the lights here so they can go to sleep and see them in the morning. Friendliest cat in the world joined us just now. Yep, that's it. Okay, so the little one is fed. He's 
just after five in the morning. Well, quarter to six, so it's done. Daisy is right here. Cats are fed. So that's for vegetarian cat. Arthur and Daisy. Just get them out. Arthur, come. Enzo and Diego is up. They're taking their walks already. But a surprise for these lot today. Going absolutely crazy. Look at that. Because we never got up this morning. Look at that piece. Shh, 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 shh. They've got water in the pool. So <laughs> they are so <laughs> happy about it. They're going oh, 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 there's a cat right like there. I'll just close this up right there. Move. Just show them away. I'll just take the cat off and put him back. Well, seems like once again I'm saving spider cat. If you do that, get done with this. Okay, spider cat is out. He was just surprised a bit. The cats do hang around here in the night and then they don't expect the dogs to just come down and he must have fell asleep right up there and then all the dogs are there but yeah the tigers also fall asleep right here only they don't run away like that I don't know why and Diego is so calm <laughs> And so friendly, and he just walks with me. Something that I don't know in, if, if there's many animals that got this sense of calmness to them, like he's got. He is absolutely calm and looking absolutely professional without doing anything wrong. Look at that, he's just walking around. The dogs are going crazy, they out of hand they're out of control but Diego he is absolutely perfectly in control and Enzo already on a walk he is enjoying a nice walk okay so the water is running into the pool and the dogs well just look at that Arthur has been in again and he is going to probably go in again in the next few minutes. They're going to love this so much. Took a while but it's done and we will be getting these dogs well swimming within the next day because I think they forgot about it during the winter. They don't really know exactly how it works but they will learn again and they will enjoy it like before. Okay, little Chloe <laughs> and little Lily and there's the other Lily and Billy and they are all just all around here entertaining themselves. Chaka over there, he is just picking a flower right there. Arthur he is jumping up, Duens is right here. And Arthur is, well, enjoying the pool. He is wet, his paws and everything. So now he is jumping up and he is getting me all wet, yeah. Okay, just look at this little face. And I just noticed something right now. Those little eyes 
are just about to open. They, I, I saw them, well, just opening. They weren't open completely, but I think that is what today is. Little Bella, you want to see? Come and see the little kitty cat. Look at her. That is what she does when she sees the little one. Yeah, he's having some milk. <laughs> Duncan is over here. And yeah, he finishes the milk that was left over. So everybody gets something. But yeah, the little kitten doing absolutely great. And I'm going to give him a little bit more milk. Because he finished that. And just listen to that. And there goes little Bella. She's just teasing Duncan. Well, gotta go. The dogs are all around here. And their pool, the water is already showing there in the pool. And they are all getting ready to swim. So, keep it guys posted on this little one. He's so comfortable. He's sleeping right there in my hand. What a great sound. Okay, and it's time to give the kittens some of their antibiotics. And they are right here. They're sleeping. Yeah, friend, yes. Cat in the world's little one cutest cat in the world. Yeah, doesn't taste as good as it makes you feel, I suppose. It's only cutest cat in the world. I didn't give her any. I don't think she needs it. She doesn't show any signs whatsoever. So I don't I don't want to treat her unnecessarily. But yeah, she's not very happy with me. I gave her some as well. And well, she's not very happy with me. In any case, Diego is right over there. And here from the top, I can see a piece of fiberglass right there in the pool. Right there. That's probably what he pulled out there. So I'm going to have to go and take that part out. So as soon as they are moving over to the other side, I am going in there and sorting it out. Well, she's still cleaning herself up. They are all doing great, but I want to make sure that they are perfect in every way. Well, I was born at this hospital right here. Somewhere in there. <laughs> right in there. It looks like a huge boat from the side. But yeah, that was quite some time ago. Sun is going down and every day I've got an extra few minutes to do all the things I need to do. Cats are eating there, the tigers, the pool is still blue. I want to put in more water, I'm just waiting. If it's going to rain, I'm going to wait. If it's not going to rain, I'm going to fill it up. But... It gets green much quicker if it's rainwater, so that's why I want to keep it as blue as possible. They really enjoy it. So, this day had a lot of things that happened, and I haven't had a chance to make a vlog about it. But I'll tell you guys about it soon. It's quite a few different days over the last few months that something from there that all comes together in the end and then it is one story because the story like the ones i've told before they're not really just something that starts and it ends there's a later part that comes by and an earlier part and a midsection and then if once you're through them all then you know exactly what happened and you are able to tell the story so those stories will be coming up soon and uh, I am getting a little tired with all the vlogging 
and I can feel that it is keeping me away from a lot of other stuff but I will do my best to put a video out every day thanks for watching guys I hope you enjoyed this and like always have a great day